today we're going on a field trip. We are headed to New Mexico, uh, to the Chiricahua Desert Museum. They're having a symposium on uh, snake bite. So we're hopefully gonna learn a lot and meet a lot of cool people and we'll show you their museum too. They have a lot of cool stuff there. the Airbnb so that's exciting. It's a cool spot I've never been down this road before. Uh, heading into Portal, Arizona, which is at the foot of the Chiricahua Mountains. It's beautiful or even just right now. Uh, a little hot. Don't think we'll see a snake on this dirt road, but hoping to see a few out tonight or tomorrow night. Uh, guessing this is the back. Alright, let's ditch our stuff. stuff at the Airbnb. It's a cool house. I'm uh, happy with it. And uh, now we got to rush to the museum. Totally forgot about the time change. We got to the Airbnb when we wanted to, but uh, we're an hour behind what I wanted to be for the museum. But that's all right. Uh, we're heading there now. We'll get checked in. Hopefully get a minute or two to look around. I think the thing they're doing at five is just like a meet and greet. Probably park. Oh, there's some here. Chiricahua Desert Museum in Rodeo, New Mexico, right on the Arizona border. A lot of cool stuff here, tons of art, just all kinds of rattlesnake, reptile paraphernalia. They got some old uh, vintage snake bite kits, which puts our collection to shame. They've got a ton of them here. And some live exhibits. Feel free to look around and uh, really cool place if you can make it down this way. It's a really cool part of the country as well. The Chiricahua Mountains are just outside of the uh, museum. You can see them as soon as you walk out. A uh, really pretty mountain range that we're hoping to find some snakes in tomorrow. Check out this hybrid rattlesnake over here. So according to the signage, this is a Western Diamondback Timber Rattlesnake uh, hybrid, which those two do meet in ranges in Texas. Uh, apparently this is a wild one. They didn't make it, but if you can tell, this is a big snake. I mean, I don't have an exact measurement on him, but I would guess that is a close to, if not bigger than six foot snake. It's a big snake right there. things about this place is the gift shop.
All right, so we just finished the uh, first two presentations. They were great. Like a little kid in the candy store. I got some prints from the gift shop. Signed book by the author, uh, one of the authors of this book. So yeah, we're about to go look for some wild snakes now. Hey, buddy. Big truck coming. Yeah. Got a gopher snake that was just crossing the road right here. And uh, probably about 10, 12 minutes into uh, doing a little bit of road cruising. I'm just eating a snack. Logan's playing with a gopher snake. I only get out of the car if it's got a rattle on it, so chilling here. We're gonna let this guy go off in the uh, brush over here. That's the direction he was headed. Get him off the road and then go look for some more snakes. Hopefully something with a rattle on it. These are always worth stopping for. Got a little tarantula here. Whoop. He's making a run for it. Not really interested in being handled. There we go. You're all right, dude. These things are so cool. This is a mature male. You got these little punching bag looking pedipalps. I don't know if you can see it, but they have a little hook under the front, two main front legs there, out looking for love. I'm gonna let him go on his way. Good luck, dude. Good morning. So we produce these venoms, and if we look across the world, we ask Good amount of herping on the way back going through the trip. Was, so the trip's not over just after tonight. We still got a whole other day ahead of us. That was awesome. I learned a lot. You learned I something, right? learned too much and I need to learn more. That was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta process it all now. That's a lot to process. So anyway, the sun's just going down. We might be able to find some more snakes. We're, gonna, we're trying really hard to find a nice pink diamondback because they're kind of in this area. But uh, didn't have luck last night. Maybe we'll tonight, who knows. But either way, going home happy. Got one more night here and then back to, uh, back to the ranch. Gotta find the snake. If you're filming, we won't find anything. You need to turn that off. Here, I gotcha. I think that is a crow. Oh, it's a crow. Get I know, it. I know. Get it. Get it. Get him off the road. I right, fling him off to the side. Hang on. Hang on. Rattler? Yep. Are you a snake fan? You probably see him all the time. Okay. Seven, go ahead. look. Those are. That's pretty cool looking right there. Yeah, I know. You like that? Yeah. Have you right, cool, man. Appreciate it. I got like two of them. All right, appreciate it. Well, you guys be careful. I got well, yeah, thanks. Be safe. Thanks, have a good night, man. Finally found a rattlesnake. Immediately pulled over, got it out of the road, and then a sheriff pulled up behind us. Uh, he was super cool. I uh, just wanted to make sure that we were okay. Finally got a diamond back. Yeah, they're definitely a little different down here than the Phoenix ones. This one's not as pink as we had hoped, but 
Got a nice soft gray color. Buzzing away, we scared it getting it out of the road. Didn't know that was a sheriff's car and didn't want this thing to get run over. Found a rattlesnake. Feel like, in a way, the trip is officially complete, but hopefully we find some more stuff on the way out tomorrow. And maybe even some more tonight too. We literally just went up this direction, didn't see anything, and we turned around and we're coming back, and that's where this one was. You never know with road cruising, but grateful for this little guy. It's a good looking little snake. Good evening. How you doing? Good. 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 State your citizenship, please. Uh, U.S. Can you state your citizenship, please? Yeah, U.S.A. Sir? U.S. Yeah. U.S. Where y'all coming from? We uh, just rode up the road. Cruise. We were at the Chiricahua Desert Museum. Oh, okay. We're just cool going up and Looking down. Looking for snakes. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. Any luck? Yeah. Uh, yeah. One that one way. Dime back. Back. Nothing that way. We've That's never it. been down this way. We just were poking around. Roger that. All right. You cool. guys have a good one. Be safe. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Time. Give it a go, he's not gonna. Keep an eye on the traffic. Okay. Alright, got another rattlesnake. A little Mojave rattlesnake. Two rattlesnakes tonight. We we're heading home too, about giving up. So. I think if me and Logan can push, we'll be okay. <coughs> Whoops. That's what happens when Cody gets excited about lizards. <laughs> this lizard's worth the uh, nightmare that we're stuck in now with the vehicle, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, not much of a lizard guy. Can't tell you exactly what this is. It's a gorgeous horn lizard. He's beautiful. Yeah. So we want to go back this way, right? Turn your tires this way a little bit. Dang it, it's just getting deeper. We almost got out. <laughs> it's kitty litter. All right, you watching the tires? We got out. Barely, but we did it. All right, let's go get some freaking gas. I'm not stopping for any more lizards or anything. Maybe a rattlesnake. All right, so we didn't end up driving through the Chiricahua Mountains as planned because I took a stupid turn into a bunch of wash sand, basically, to catch a horny toad. I mean, it was a cool lizard, but yeah, that was a dumb move. So anyway, we were stuck there a while, had to do a lot of hand digging, and as you can see, we got out okay. But that kind of changed plans a little bit, so we filled up gas tank and we're heading back to Phoenix now. But other than that exciting ending there was a great trip. Uh, learned a lot, met a lot of really cool people. I'm hoping to take back a lot of helpful knowledge that we can incorporate into the, the tours at our zoo. Um, just make us more, a little more well-rounded in the, the medical knowledge of, of a snake bite. It's helpful to know and be reminded of what they can do if we screw up. Hoping to meet all of these speakers again sometime. Um, I'm sure I will cross paths again, but also tried to meet each one of them individually best I could and let them know about our little rattlesnake zoo in the Phoenix area. So when you guys end up watching this, um, again, loved your talks, feel like I learned a lot. More than I'm saying right now, if I really think about it, I'm, I'm sure I did, but uh, yeah, please come by. We'd love to show you around. And yeah, we're also hoping, I mean, part of the reason I have the collection is over time, can we help with venom research? Can we help with biology experiments, you know, using the resources that we have. All to say, great conference, loved it. Thanks to the people that put it on, so the Chiricahua Desert Museum, um, Bob Ashley, who I finally got to meet in person as well. They have a great museum with a lot of cool stuff. Go check it out. I mean, the area itself is beautiful. I, I wish we had, you know, didn't get stuck in a ditch, but we got a little more time to spend, you know, in the, the mountains there. You know, that area is just rich in history, both in, with herpetologists, Native American history, 
lot of different wildlife is found there and uh, just a beautiful part of the country that is, is pretty quiet and relatively untouched. So if you're ever in that area or passing through, definitely check it out. Peace.